Hey there everyone, Newton Dev here. Today, I'll show you how to create a simple platformer game with Glowed using C Sharp. First things first, we need something that the player can stand on. So for that, we'll create a new tileset for the world using the art asset that we had for the game. Link for the asset in the description below. For the tileset, we will use the grass and soil sprite below. Select new single tile. Selecting the grass part, we will edit the step to 64 by 64. Then next, we will create the new tile for the ground. Adding the collider so the character has something to stand on. Save the scene and now we have our tiles. We'll create our world with a 2D node. Save the 2D node, then instantiate our tile map to the scene. Let's create a simple level design for our stage. Now we need someone to play on our designed level. We'll create our character in a kinematic body node. For our player, we will need collision shape and sprite. And of course, we'll still be using our sprite sheet again. Now attach it to the sprite node then enable region. Now we need to select the texture of our character. Set the grid snap to 64 by 64 and now we can easily select our character texture. Now we need some light. Let's add the animation player for our character. Now let's create the idle animation. I'll try to walk you through the process. By shifting between texture region and animation, we can change the sprite and key in the frame for the animation. And the loop. Always use this script here for sprite animation. Enable the button here so it will automatically animate this animation upon start. Now let's create the running and jumping animation. Now that we have the animation, we now need a way to control the character. So opening the project setting, we will set up the input map. We need move left, move right, and jump. Now pressing the key, you can input any key you want, but I prefer this. Time for coding. Attach a node script. Then, we will be selecting c -sharp as our language. A little tip here. Always wait for this restore command before you type anything in the code. Sometimes the code isn't recognized when you're skipping this. Or it's just me. We'll do some cleanup, erasing the comments. Now we will be adding the movement code. We will be adding the direction and the movement speed of our character. 
let's add the physics process function here. This is where all of our code will be processed. Adding the movement code here. Before we run anything, let's place our character on the world first. Now we have a moving character, but he's floating. Adding the gravity, we will set up the stats. Adding the gravity function above the player movements. Now we need the character to jump. Now let's add life to our backpack boy. We will be referencing animation player so we can play the right animation. Then referencing the sprite so we can flip the character. Adding the sprite flipping function, then adding the animation function. And now our little boy has come to life. Well done you guys. We have made our first simple platformer game. For some added bonus, I want to add some background on this to make it look even better. I've placed a white square on the sprite sheet so you guys can manipulate its color within the Godot project. Hope this tutorial helps you. If so, press like and subscribe if you want to see more. If you want to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee with the link below. Until then, cheers!